I grew up in East Lansing, Michigan, which is in the heart of General Motors and Ford and Chrysler building automobiles. You thought engineers are people who design cars and things that go with them. And that's mainly mechanical engineering. And so that's what I did. When I started working for Dow Chemical, they assigned me to a job in the engineering department. And so when I arrived there, I ended up getting in several assignments, all which related to information systems. And I had this mixed kind of a background, both business and engineering. And he offered me a job in the finance department doing a real bona fide information system. And in those days, you solved problems using punch card equipment. So I started working with the people in the punch card department, and we had a punch card calculator that did, did six calculations a minute. With his understanding of engineering, data management, and cost accounting, Bachman became head of Dow's first computer department in 1957. I went, first of all, to New York City and uh, went to a one-week programming course there for the Univac. And shortly thereafter, I went to Poughkeepsie to the Homestead, where they had courses for people they're trying to teach. Bachman liked the IBM 709 and became active in SHARE, a group where users of IBM mainframe computers shared developments in programming languages, databases, and more. I became the first chairman of the Data Processing Committee of SHARE. Suddenly, Dow, under economic pressure, canceled its 709 order and cut Bachman's team by half. It was time to move on. At the same time, SHARE users were frustrated by the lack of integration in software systems. Entire programs had to be rewritten to accommodate simple changes. In 1960, Bachman joined GE's Integrated Systems Project to tackle this problem as chief architect and programmer of IDS, the Integrated Data Store. So the project was a, to create a generic manufacturing control system. I had written the complete detailed description of what IDS was, how it worked, and I had rounded up a bunch of data processing managers in GE who we call friends of IDS to look over my shoulder and critique it as I went. We wanted to do something that a good programmer in the field could learn and become proficient in quickly. Initially, the plans were rejected. He said, well, this is all very nice, but I've got other things to do. I'm, I'm not going to continue the project. And fortunately, the low voltage switch gear general manager said, I'll put his hand up and said, I'll take it over. That general manager furnished his top systems people to help bring their knowledge into the project. It was designed to be a system that was adapted to many different targets, to many different applications. And it was not a one of a kind. And everything up to that point, it was a one of a kind program at great cost. This versatile, revolutionary system enabled the visualization of a wide variety of data. In 1973, Bachman received the ACM Turing Award for his role in the creation of modern database management systems. And graphical data structure diagrams are known as Bachman diagrams. I don't think it was being work, I just think it's been it's been exciting. Charles Bachman has influenced the industry for more than six decades. As the founder of Bachman Information Systems, the chairman of the ANSI and OSI committees that standardized the seven-layer OSI reference model, as well as serving on many other committees and boards.